1867, Athens, Ohio, was chosen to be the site of what is now known as the most haunted place in Ohio. On January 9th, 1874, the asylum would open. The asylum would house Civil War veterans, children, the elderly, and violent criminals. Some causes for admission was menopause, alcohol addiction, and tuberculosis. The asylum was known to use treatment that is considered harmful today, such as lobotomies, hydrotherapy, electroshock therapy, and restraint therapy. Throughout the years, many buildings were added, and by the 1960s, the facility was recorded to be at 660,000 square feet and had a population of nearly 2,000 patients, over three times of its normal capacity. The population would end up declining as deinstitutionalization accelerated, leaving buildings and wards abandoned. The asylum also had three graveyards that saw over 2,000 burials, and the last burial 1972. The cemeteries are rumored to be haunted by shadow people and strange lights. The Athens Asylum made the news in 1977 when it housed multiple personality criminal Billy Milligan. Milligan was charged with multiple felonies, but due to his multiple personality disorder, was acquitted and was sent to several state-ran mental hospitals, including Athens. Milligan would be diagnosed with 24 different personalities and would be released after a decade in the system. The hospital would make headlines once again in 1978 when patient Margaret Schilling disappeared on December 1st, 1978. Staff would find her body 42 days later on January 12, 1979, in an abandoned ward. Her hair and body would leave a permanent mark on the floor where it still can be seen today. Margaret is still rumored to haunt the hospital. She's been known to try and escape the room her body was found in. She's also known to wander parts of the building at night, and she's not alone. By 1981, there were less than 300 patients, and numerous buildings were abandoned. In 1993, the asylum was officially closed, and remaining patients were transferred to other facilities. Ohio University has since taken the buildings over and in 2001 it was renamed the Ridges. Visitors still report strange figures in empty wings of the buildings. Disembodied voices and squeaky gurneys. They have also reported seeing strange lights and hearing screams echo through the walls. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.